Welcome to part four of God and Rugby Skills. Today I've got uh, five progressions that are all kind of working on the same thing, which is body shape. This is great for scrummaging, but also if you're just, it's good for staying in the right body shape when you're over a ball, if you're trying to steal it, or if you're trying to clear someone out of the way. Um, it's also a decent core workout, as you'll see throughout the course of this video. Uh, in terms of key technical points that you're looking out for in every video, we've got a flat back, my knees under my waist, you've got uh, straight arms but that doesn't really matter for some of the practices, some of the drills. Um, you want the knees near the floor and uh, you want your eyes looking, well you want your head neutral and your eyes looking through your eyebrows rather than having your head upright. Okay, let's see if you can spot those things. Drill one, get a stable position and raise one arm, then the other arm, then the other arm, and so on and so forth. I've done 10 here. Choose however many you want to do. Drill two, stable body position, trying to keep our back flat and we're moving forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards, also known as bear crawls. Drill three, fun for all the family. Uh, you're keeping a stable position on the floor and getting someone to push you and just create a little bit of instability left to right, forwards to backwards. Go. Uh, number four, do exactly the same as the last one. So get your kids to throw you side to side, but this time you, your hands are on the rugby ball or football or whatever ball you've got. Final one, this is a tricky one. Grab yourself a broom or a pole if you've got one, maybe a swing ball, something like that, and see if you can keep stable just using that with your hands. Not easy. Enjoy. I uh, hope you found all those useful, um, stay safe, keep improving, um, stay at home and enjoy the tash. Don't forget to like and subscribe.